So I'm messing around with my Raspberry Pi here, and um, I think I'm using a, uh, a bad power supply or a power supply that isn't giving it enough juice. Anyways, I think that's actually causing the Raspberry Pi to overheat. So I am going to get the proper power supply, but I want to test out to see if a penny uh, could be used as a as a heat sink because I don't have one uh, a heat sink really small enough to fit on that and I want to give it a try so what I'm doing now is I'm just uh, I'm starting to sand down the back because I want it to be I think most people are just uh, plopping them on their pie and and that so I'm gonna sand mine down so it's nice and smooth and give it a shot and I'll be back and we'll see We'll see if it actually works. Okay, I'm back and the penny, I shined the penny, made the penny look nice and shiny. And I finished sanding it. Looks pretty good. It's nice and flat. Uh, next, we are going to um, put on some Arctic silver thermal paste. I'm just going to place a little bit on the back of the penny and then I'm going to put it onto there. And I'm also going to use just a dab of uh, epoxy um, to hold the penny down. So basically what I'm going to do is just put like, where is, okay, I'm going to use this toothpick and I'm just going to take like a little dab and just put it right, kind of like right on the edge here and on the edge there. And that'll be enough just to hold it down and hold it in place because I don't have that self-adhesive uh, thermal paste. So this should work uh, just fine. Um, I'll be back in a bit, test this out, and, and see how it works. All right, I'm back. We got the penny is on there, and it came out pretty good. Very little dab of epoxy on each end, just a hold it in place so it would be uh, fairly easy to get this off if I end up not liking it. Um, <clears throat> also of note, I used a penny that was older than 1982 because I guess uh, 1982 and earlier have more copper. And next phase I'm going to plug it in. And see how it does with heat. I'll be back with the results. Okay, we're back. The Raspberry Pi has been running now for quite a while and it has not shut off. So I can say without a doubt that the Penny as a heatsink completely works. As you can see, it's still going. There's no uh, thermometer up there, so usually there's a, like a little thermometer up in the uh, right-hand corner that's telling you your temperature is getting too high, and um, that's not up there. Uh, if I do like move around a little bit, you'll see that lightning bolt there pop up every once in a while. That tells you that. Um, I need a better power supply, but after all the testing, I gotta say, the penny works. So, um, does a penny work with a Raspberry Pi as a heatsink? Yes, it does. Thanks for watching.